Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenCart. In today's video tutorial, we'll be seeing how to install OpenCart Dropship Management module. So after you successfully purchase the particular plugin, you'll get a particular zip file uh, there. Now what you need to do is you need to download that zip file. As I've downloaded it, you'll have that uh, zip file with the name Dropship Management. Uh, you have to extract the contents of the file on your system. So after you have extracted it, you will find the dropship management and within that you will find the particular one according to the different OpenCart versions. So today we will be seeing the installation of the OpenCart 3.x.x.x uh, version there and uh, to do so to basically install the OpenCart dropship uh, management uh, module onto your OpenCart uh, website there what you need to do is you need to connect to your server using the FTP itself so you must be having the host name uh, host the username the password and then you need to connect to your server where you have installed the open card there so I've already uh, connected to my server there as you can see and here we are having the remote site home OC dev uh, web cool so what we need to do is we need to navigate to the www folder within the same so here I'll just go to www and within that I have installed the OC under dev OC dev OC and uh, under dev OC I have created one uh, section with the name aliexpress uh, dropship so under aliexpress you can see we have the admin catalog image storage and system files so if i just bring it up you can see that here we are having the particular installation of the open card there on the server itself now what we need to do is initially we need to uh, on our desktop systems or our, on our local system we need to navigate to download where we have downloaded the dropship management and we have extracted the files of the dropship management within that we have to go to the particular open cart version that's the latest one that's the open cart 3.x.x.x and here we have different files that are the admin catalog oc mode and the wk underscore aliexpress underscore cron dot php so what we need to do is we need to copy the admin catalog and the wk aliexpress underscore cron dot php file and we have to upload it in the server where we have installed the open card there so this will take a bit of time there for the installation so here you can see that the files are being copied onto the server where we have uh, our open card being installed on the server so this uh, will just take some more time there and as soon as this process has ended then we'll be logging into the admin backend panel there uh, for the rest of the process for the installation of the open card dropship management module itself So initially what happens is that you purchase the uh, the particular product That's the open card dropship management uh, plugin then you get a particular zip file You need to extract the contents of the zip file Then using this FTP system you need to connect to your server so you can see that the files have been transferred so using this FTP server, you need to connect to your server where you have installed the open card and then you need to copy the admin catalog and the WK Aliexpress cron.php files into your uh, open card installation folder itself. After you have completed this step, what you need to do is next, uh, let me minimize this up. You need to log into the admin backend panel there. So let's log into the admin backend panel by entering the username, password and tapping on the sign in button now uh, what we'll do is we'll navigate through extensions and then installer and here what we'll be doing is we'll be tapping on the upload button after tapping on the upload button from our local drive what we'll be doing is we'll be going to the particular uh, dropship management that uh, file that we had extracted from the dropship management zip file we'll go into that file and they will go to the particular open cart version and here we will go to the OC mod file and then default and they will find the wk underscore dropship underscore management dot oc mod dot zip file we need to double click that up and that would be uploaded here as you can see the wk dropship management dot oc mod dot zip file has been installed now after this what we'll be doing is we'll be navigating through extensions and modifications and here we'll be tapping on the refresh button after tapping on the refresh button 
uh, then we'll be navigating to uh, system users user groups he will be editing the administrator and he will be tapping on select all for access permission for modify permission as well we'll be selecting all and then we'll be tapping here on the save button after this what we'll be doing is we'll be navigating to extensions extensions and here we'll be choosing modules and here we'll be scrolling down and here we'll find the dropship module being in, uh, being uh, uh, set up there so to install it up what you need to do is you need to tap here on the install button this would take a few minutes for the plugin to get installed on your system there or your on your uh, server there so you can see that it has been uh, basically installed now what you need to do is you need to tap here on the edit button that you have and here you have to choose enabled and here you can choose the dropship user group as demonstration and then tap here on the save button after we have stacked on the save button you'll find the warehouse management option here on the left hand side being displayed and then you can proceed further for the configuration of the plugin itself as per your own requirements there so yes that was much about how to install the open card dropship management module and i hope that this helped you out in understanding the same if you still have any questions query sessions or requirements regarding the same then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.